Have you ever been watching one of these dinosaur movies and just think to yourself, is that how the dinosaur really used to look? Well, today we are going to be watching Jurassic Park, just a few clips of it, but we're going to be watching it with accurate dinosaurs. The video we're watching today is by Film Core. I'll film up on the screen right now so you can see him. And apparently he has added the accurate dinosaurs into the Jurassic Park franchise. Let's jump this right into it. This is what the original Jurassic Park T-Rex breakup scene looks like. Ooh. And this is what it looks like if it were done today with our modern understanding of dinosaurs. That did change At a lot. Time, that T-Rex? These were the most scientifically accurate dinosaurs we had ever seen on screen. But after 29 years, they're obviously a bit It's been updated, 29 years? Which begs the question, what would these iconic movie scenes look like with modern depictions of these magnificent Okay, animals? and I'm guessing we're well, going to see that to today. that, I went ahead and made scientifically accurate models of these Spino? four dinosaurs from the Jurassic Park franchise T -Rex and e. added them back into the movies. How'd you do this? How'd you I do this? I knew that I had to start <laughs> nowhere else but with everyone's favorite queen, Rexy. Of I course. I needed her to be based around real science and everything we now know about the real animal. Oh, this so is going to be crazy. So I downloaded a 3D scan of a real fossil and dropped it into Blender. But the head was a bit wonky. I then remembered that I had this guy sitting right next to me. He's so got a T-Rex skull? I to come close <laughs> my phone and after putting it into some software, okay, that's really cool. an accurate, unwonky T-Rex skull. Big shout and out to Film Corps because that is not easy. Sculpting. This is where I really get to build up the forms and shapes of the creature and just really get her to look like a real, well-fed, living animal. And he sculpted the whole dinosaur. Of the it wasn't just something he downloaded. Later, the sculpt is all done. And now we're missing one more thing. Color? Color. Yep. Which is I was about to say, he's not going to put them in gray. Us. So what color should our dinosaurs be? Well, it's likely that, that is hard to know. very brightly colored, just like modern birds. Could more you imagine? than the ones in the movies. Seeing like a bright Except yellow T-Rex. Except fan will know <laughs> that those dinosaurs are supposed to be female, which means that the more dull and brown coloring from the movie might mm. actually be fair. It makes accurate. sense. So, since it wasn't broken, I decided not to Those fix it. Eyes. I then gave it a skeleton. Okay. I did something I've never <laughs> done before. I added muzzle simulation for that extra sense of realism. That's Once the model cool. is finished, here is where you really see what has changed. She's chunkier, has lips, but other than that, it's actually chunkier. not a deviation. Which goes to show how yeah. accurate the Jurassic Park T-Rex really good. was for the time. But where are the feathers? Well, T-Rex probably didn't have any. You see, it was probably just too big to have feathers. It would be that akin makes sense. to an elephant wearing a coat in the savannah. It would have made the animal <laughs> overheat. You ever seen an Maybe elephant a wearing a coat? Maybe covering a scene in prehistoric planet would have been possible, but there's little evidence for that also. And so far, imagine seeing that, bro. Imagine seeing that, bro. Imagine time, I'm opting on a featherless <laughs> T-Rex. In fact, she was so big that she probably couldn't even run. But her legs were so really? long that she could probably still beat you in a race. Oh! Don't you say it! Don't you say it! And I was also <laughs> able to add this animated raindrop material to really make her feel nice and wet. Okay. And to bring so her he into really the movie went all was out. a process of matching the camera position and lighting of the original footage, rendering that out. That's crazy. And then pumping her into the scenes inside of After Effects. This is about to look great. It's time to see what Jurassic Park would look like with a scientifically accurate T-Rex. Accurate dinosaurs. Let's go. So we're going to see, like, scenes from the actual movie. It's not just some, you know, thrown together stuff here. It's going to be the real deal. This is Jurassic Park. 29 years ago, what's he going to look like? Or she, I'm no. sorry. The T-Rex. It's a bad start. Here we go, though. The T-Rex that my boy Film Core has put into the game. Not the game, the movie. That looks so good! That does not look bad at all. I mean, it does look more like an animation than a movie, but it's mixed together. It's an animation put into the actual movie. Few moments later. I do remember this. I do remember. I'm pretty sure they get eaten, right? I'm pretty sure. Don't move. They can't see us if we don't move. Is that true? They can't see you if they don't move. Oh yeah. Also forgot to mention that T-Rex might have the best eyesight like ever. So ever. No. So we can definitely see. Yeah. And that's why this happened right here. Dang. She didn't have to shake him. It's like a chew toy. However, T-Rex isn't the only dinosaur in this series. It's T-Rex, though. So next up are the main villains of the franchise, the Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Now, these guys need to be terrifying. 
But you see, a real Velociraptor was about the size of a dog. Not very scary. Really? Which explains why Spielberg based them on the biggest raptor we had yet found, huh. Anonychus. But even these guys weren't big enough. So what are we to do? Luckily for us, I didn't know they were during that small. filming, they found this guy. A six foot tall, 18 foot long raptor giant. This raptor is the Utah Raptor. I again started with a skeleton, and guys, its the head Utah was about the size of a man's torso. For a quick comparison, wow. here's the difference between a Velociraptor, a Denonychus, and finally, the Utah The Velociraptor was so guy tiny. This terrifying, except for its You just kind of kick him. Some people might think I made a mistake, but no, it very much looked like that. It was perfect for gobbling up hot dogs or starting a shrimp business. And Ugh. on the T-Rex, this guy was definitely covered in feathers. So, the little fat kid I don't know in the how I feel says, about that. More like a six foot turkey. So, you have chosen. Six foot turkey, death. yeah. What's more Sounds right about than right. ever know? Because you see, not only would it have looked like a giant turkey, but it probably would have been about as intelligent. Which leads us to a question <laughs> I want to address Could a raptor have opened a door as shown in the movie? There's well, no way. Not even no, modern no birds way. can figure out how to. Wait a minute, maybe oh, you could. Well then, that's good to know. However, unlike humans, dinosaurs <laughs> couldn't pronate their wrists. And so if they tried this, well, their wrists would break. So I had to animate it in such a way that it could grip the handle without its palm. With the animation and model now finished, we once again go through the process of coming into the scenes. And without further ado, here you have the kitchen scene from Jurassic Park with a scientifically accurate raptor. Nice. Let's see the furry raptor. What it actually looks like in Jurassic Park. Animation mixed into the movies. As you guys know here, in this scene, they were running from the raptors. Let's see, doesn't he peek in here? No jump scare, you're all good. Look at him. <laughs> the big boy. Ugh. Kinda creepy looking. He's just gonna slowly open the door. Even though he just broke his wrists doing it. That looks very good. Very, very good. It kind of just looks like a big bird right now. Timmy, what is it? Bro, don't talk, man. Relax. Oh, there's two of them. Two turkeys for the price of one. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Imagine Thanksgiving with a turkey that size. That would be insane. Oh, here we go. But now let's see it with an accurate Velociraptor. An accurate Velociraptor? Wait, what was that? Oh, that was just a raptor, right? So the Velociraptor, he wouldn't even be able to see in this window, right? Oh, there he is. <laughs> he flew up there a little bit. That's funny. Next up oh. is a dinosaur who's probably all of the worst <laughs> the spying source. That's funny. Now, to be fair, in 2001, when they made the third movie, there wasn't that much information available. However, recent discoveries has given us a much better look at one of the franchise's most controversial dinosaurs. Spinosaurus. And oh boy, are you guys in for a ride. Why? Because this guy was weird. How was weird? weird? Firstly, he was gigantic. 50 feet oh long, my. actually one of the largest and biggest meat eaters that ever lived. That's crazy. But weird. Long arms, short legs, its crocodile-like head, and its paddle-like tail which it likely used to propel itself forward in the water to catch fish. And all this points to one thing. Oh, that's Julian's it's video. It's at least semi-aquatic. So how much different is this weird chimera of a dinosaur from what we thought? Well, this is what he looked like in the movies, this is what he looked like in 2013, and now here's her modern reconstruction. Yeah, let's see that a modern far view here. Terrestrial beasts seen in the movies. And okay. it's clear that this guy wasn't spending too Ugh. much time hunting on land. Which brings us to the most controversial scene in the entire franchise. And one that I knew you guys would want me to address. Spino Could versus T-Rex. Actually be a T-Rex. And well, for that, I'm just going to refer to paleontologist Dr. Dave Hone. What do you guys think? I refuse on principle to answer the question who would win in a fight between, because I think it is the most trite, boring, and uninteresting thing that one could possibly say about dinosaurs, even in fiction. But it's T-Rex. It pretty much comes but down to T-Rex <laughs> being just too heavily armored by dinosaurs, especially when compared to Spinosaurus. With its super powerful bite force, as soon as he got the initial neck bite in, well, it's game over. Ah! 
However, I actually love the Spinosaurus. What and video I think was that? It takes away from how cool and unique this dinosaur really was. So instead, for recreation, since everything about his anatomy points to him being a swimmer, there is no better scene to recreate than the one in the river to really show off the Spinosaurus sense. in its natural habitat. And once again, with all that out of the way. Here is Jurassic Park 3 with a scientifically accurate Spinosaurus. Let's see it. That's gonna be crazy. Jurassic Park 3. And they're gonna be seeing a Spinosaurus in the wall. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. That thing is massive. A few moments later. Yeah, it'd be over with. It would just be over with. There ain't no shooting a flare at it. Nah. Yeah, he's too big. All he has to do is step over the. F Wait, he just I ran away. I to do at least one dinosaur from the okay. new movies. But considering the first two films feature fictionalized hybrids, there was only one option. Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. The Giganotosaurus. And oh boy. Now this, while definitely a cool design, I say that is name also wrong. one of the least accurate depictions of any dinosaur in the entire franchise. Especially considering that we have quite a few fossils of the real animal. And the one shown in the movie could wow. be mistaken for another hybrid. So what did the Giganotosaurus actually look like? Did he just breathe well, fire? I still haven't even Mike seen Tyson that last movie. Predacious, then the Giganotosaurus would be the Usain Bolt. Built much more for speed and athleticism compared to a heavy brawler. Is that fast? Brawler. And I think that really comes through in her model. So, was he truly the biggest meat eater that ever lived? Well, he was definitely big, but really, probably about as big as T-Rex. From the, the same we size. have, any size difference is kind of negligible, so Spinosaurus is still the king in that regard. However, Spino this time I was just running more in time, so instead I brought him into Unreal Engine, where I rebuilt the entire scene from scratch. And so here is Jurassic Unreal World Engine is crazy. with a scientifically accurate Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus. Is that how you say it? That's how I need to start saying it then. Let's see him. I mean, he's less intimidating for sure. He just ate some fire as well. What is that? Giganotosaurus. Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. Okay. I mean, I would say obviously the previous one. Like I said, more intimidating. He's gonna throw a fiery bird at him. Oh, so he wasn't breathing fire. He was just, he was on fire. And there you have Jurassic Park with scientifically accurate dinosaurs. Let that was beautiful. That is the end of this video. Which dinosaur was your favorite? I think mine was the T-Rex, man. It just takes the cake. I will see you on tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching with me. I love you. Goodbye.